good morning good morning guys and a welcome welcome into the show we really appreciate you guys tuning in again today uh, we are just getting our, our our day started here well I've been up for a little while already but uh, I was uh, in the back there editing videos put all my files into the computer and I uploaded uh, a couple of videos already too because we have the Wi-Fi system here in Canada so and I call dispatch so it's been a busy busy morning this morning I had to call dispatch to let them know that uh, you know because my my I screwed up my logbook when I left on Friday that uh, I am a little bit low on hours right so uh, I talked to them a little bit. We went through how many hours I have and all that. And uh, after all uh, looking at everything, uh, it looks like they're gonna have me uh, go into Ohio. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that's what it looks like right now. They're gonna have a day cap deliver my load. And then it uh, looks like they're gonna make me uh, go pick up a uh, load at one o'clock this afternoon and uh, and uh, deliver that to Ohio so that would be good because then I can stay out here on the road till probably closer to uh, Christmas right so that would be awesome awesome news I'm gonna go down to the terminal now and uh, bring them the paperwork for that load right and then uh, once I have all of that done, then uh, I will uh, go back to the Flying J, probably take a shower, unless they have something different now, or they figured something else out, then I'll have to do something else, but yeah, I'll have to, uh, I'll probably go back to the Flying J and go take me a shower, I really do need a shower as well. Unless they have something that I need to pick up right now, if they tell me when I get there or whatever, right? But yeah, looks like a little bit of a cloudy day, but we had nice sunshine this first thing this morning, but oh well. No, no, not here yet. It's actually the next road. Yeah, I don't actually have my GPS set because I go here so many times. I know where the terminal is, right? Anyhow, let's go there and see what happens. All right, you guys, we have finally gone down to our customer and uh, gotten our reload on. Yikes, uh, that was uh, a little bit, little bit of a busy, uh, busy area up there, that's for sure. Just trying to make sure I can actually merge onto the road, right? And this is a heavy, heavy, heavy load too, so. Now we're gonna go back to the truck stop and scale this load, make sure that we are legal meters. to go. Keep to the right on Highway 427, Highway right. 7, Bicount Road. And then to make keep sure to the I left in 420 the, uh, meters. Go on the 427 up here. But yeah, I had a little bit of a thing happening there at the shipper. The lady told me there, uh, she says, uh, in 300 meters, keep to the left on Highway 401. She says, uh, uh, back her into Dock 5, right? South and so, and uh, keep to the right oh my god, you have like a million stories to tell us, right? <laughs> Our Jay is just yapping away. You know, it's like, holy moly. Come on, relax, RJ. I know where I'm going. <laughs> it's like this East Indian guy there, uh, He's like with a container, uh, he's got a container on the on the back, right? And so, uh, you know, the lady told me back there in Dock 5, right? Well, I was kind of blocked in a little bit because he had parked in front of me and another guy parked right behind me, so I couldn't really back up. So by the time he finally checked in and came out, well, he takes the Dock 5. I'm like, dude, that's my spot. I'm supposed to go in there. He said, no, no, you take any door as open, open there. Any door, five, six, seven, no matter what. Uh, you know, uh, he's speaking no English. Uh, you take any door open. I said, no, 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 no. I was supposed to back into dock five. That's what I was told. He said, no, 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 any door open, you back in. Okay. So I uh, 
ran back to shipping office and I told the lady, I said, that guy over there, he's just backing into Doc 5. I said, I was boxed in a little bit and he's just backing in. He doesn't give a shit. And so the lady says, okay, I'll come out and get him out. So she came back and told him to get out. And then when I went and got my paperwork, she says, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. She says, that guy's appointment was only at 2 o'clock and mine is 1 o'clock and I'm there on time. So he had no right to take my spot, you know. Because he had to wait an hour before uh, his appointment even was due, right? So yeah, he just tried to steal my spot, but... Anyways, uh, worked out at the end. It only took an hour to get loaded, but they loaded me a little bit towards the front, so... I gotta, like, uh, snuck my trailer axle up quite far, and I already did quite a bit of that. And I don't know, I'm looking at my gauge, and I'm thinking I'm still a little bit over on my drive, so... I'm going to go to the uh, scale here and scale it. I'm going to see if I can even make it legal. I only have two more holes left that I can slide my trailer axle. So, so hopefully that will work. You know, we got to probably get into the right lane up here. It looks like we got to get onto the 401 West. I could never understand why this is called West. To me, it's almost north, north south highway, but whatever. This is the airport up here to the right, guys. You guys see that? That's the international airport up here in Toronto. Yeah. I'm going to change my direction. Oh, I see a plane taking off right now. Yeah, look at that, eh? Anyways, let's go down to the truck stop and uh, get our... Uh, get our load uh, scaled and make sure it's legal and once it's legal we're good to go like I'm I got my uh, A-OK -okay already to uh, cross the border and all that so we're good in that department and I know it's starting to get rush hour now so I do want to try and get out of Toronto as soon as I possibly can so we'll see we're only five kilometers away from getting to the truck stop right now so it's not that far right just a matter of time of getting there oh I see this right lane is gonna end so I may as well want to try and move into the left lane here hopefully we can do it yeah here we go so we can do it so let's see what happens guys all right guys we are now a little bit outside of Toronto yes indeed we are I got my uh, sun blinder there on the top they're trying to keep the Sun out a little bit <laughs> It is, uh, it is fairly sunny, but it, which is nice, don't get me wrong, it looks nice, uh, nice when it's a nice sunny day on the video too, right? But when it shines directly into your eyes, then it's not so much fun, right? Oh, of course, now it's gonna <laughs> come further this way, but oh well, we are making good times here. Getting closer and closer uh, to the border, of course, but I think right now we're, uh, well, almost up to uh, Kitchener there, or London, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think around that area, there is a rest area up, up there, and I think I'm going to pull in there and just take me a little bit of a break. and. Uh, what I really want to do is I want to go to the back because I'm rendering a video, right? So what I want to do is because I have internet here, I want to try and upload the other video for Saturday. I think it's for Saturday, no, Sunday. Whatever it is, I, I got to upload that video yet so I don't have to worry about it when, I, uh, when I'm in the States, right? Because I got that reload already and I know I'm going to be in the States for the next few days. And uh, the other thing is I might have to do a reset anyways because I'm going to have to go through the United States going home, right? So I may be forced to do a reset over there. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll just deliver my load tomorrow morning and then go pick up my reload out of Prairiesburg there. And I know right there in Prairiesburg there's a really nice uh, Petro truck stop up there. And... Uh, I might just go in there and it sounded like Jukebox is going to be home tomorrow sometime too. And so maybe I'll just do a reset over there and then I can uh, maybe get together with Trucker Jukebox or something like that and just have a couple of hours there and 
Won't be so boring, right? Yeah, looks like our chicken coop was open today, so we're gonna have to go through here and see what they got to say, right? Yeah. Looks like finally everybody's turning on their lights. Because they like to see the lights on, right? And that's the way it goes. I guess that one truck there, he was uh, slowing down trying to wait till the lights would go out so he wouldn't have to go in here, but. Oh well, he finally went around, but yeah, they'll catch him in the next one. They'll catch him at the next one. For the most time, for the most part, it's just kind of going slowly through here, anyways. I mean, they'll pick their random truck and inspect it, but which it looks like they're going to be doing right there. They're making him stop. But yeah. So let's see what they're going to do with us. I'm just going to have one more look at my paperwork here. Because it's really hard for me to pronounce this name of this product that I'm hauling. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they got to say. He's got his fingers out. <clears throat> yeah, anyways. Looks like he's going right now. I don't know if, yeah, it looks like they might be pulling him in. Yeah, she took his paperwork. So it looks like they're gonna just kind of let everybody else go meters. or something. Keep to the left on McDonald Cartier Freeway. From Highway the looks of things. Yeah, he's pulling in. I see it up there. He's getting pulled in. I guess everybody else is just gonna go straight through, eh? That's what it looks like. That lady is not even there right now. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell if you're supposed to go. I mean, we got the green light on, right? So I guess we should be all right. Yeah, she's not in there anymore because she walked in to go hand in the paperwork, right? Oh, I see there. The guy is going for him right away. I guess he's going to go see what's wrong with him. He's gonna go inspect it anyways. Oh, there we go. They put him right on there. Yeah. They're busy in here today. Look at this. Look at all the trailers they got sitting in here. Trucks and everything. There's a brand new bunch of uh, pickups up here too. For 23 kilometers. I guess they snagged this one here. Maybe they put that trailer out of service now. He's had to unload all his brand new cars here. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, we're good to go. Let's hammer down again and get on down the road. Just climbing the uh, Ambassador Bridge right now. And just look at the amount of traffic that is coming across this bridge. Look at the two lanes full of trucks up there on the left. All trying to get back into Canada. That is amazing. Uh, my buddy uh, just checked it a little bit earlier ago. And he says there's like a 30 minute wait time just to get across the border and that's the proof right there that's going to take a while to get across there and I've had I've had the exact same thing same amount of traffic before myself <clears throat> but we're going into the United States right now that looks all right so far I I don't know what it's going to look down there at the bottom on the other side but as of right now, we are uh, we're just happy we're going across. I just hope it's going to be an easy crossing today because uh, the kind of product that I'm hauling here today is uh, is uh, a little alarming, right? It's uh, it's a type of product that FDA needs to be notified. So. Uh, or well, I don't know if FDA, but uh, it's FDA uh, product or it's controlled by FDA, I guess. And so the broker Crossing is supposed border. to notify uh, the border that uh, we're coming, right? And so, uh, yeah, I could be having issues, we'll see. I hope not, but I really hope not, but we'll see. Let's see, what kind of lineup do we have? To go into the United States. I know it's a little dark up here. Oh yeah, I see a huge lineup over there too. 
That could take 45 minutes getting across. It is the next morning, guys, and we had us a very, very good sleep. And we made it as far as Napoleon, Ohio. Yeah, we're still about an hour, <coughs> about an hour away from uh, getting to our customer. But uh, hey, I went ahead and stopped in here because I could not make it all the way to my customers. So I went ahead and parked it here. And uh, yeah, I was going to, you know, park at the Petro or Pilot over there across the street. But all of their parking spots were already taken, so uh, I saw there's this mom and pop truck stop right across the street. So guess what? I went over there, parked her over there, and uh, I had no problem finding parking in here. I guess everybody just likes to park over there, which I would have liked too, because I could have gone over there to the pilot uh, Flying J and taken me a shower. But fortunately, this is across the street, so I can't walk that far. Why? Well, guess I could but anyways now we're gonna go ahead and get out of here for today's vlog hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you back here tomorrow so have a great day everybody <laughs>